Hi everyone and welcome to another video from this part of the course and we're gonna talk about the boolean modifier and I already scratched a surface of that topic in one of the earlier videos where we were creating this floor slab and I was cutting out this opening by hand that time I mentioned you shouldn't use boolean modifier for adding details of this sort and I still <laughs> called up to that opinion because every single time you want to add new details to those crucial scene elements this can be done very easily because we have a nice clean mesh layout like here and what boolean modifier does is actually well destroying it and enabling you to to do those kind of clean loop cuts around the object so when should we use the boolean modifier and my answer is to adding all small details like those spot lamps here like the ones here in those wooden elements and for example as for a floor openings for those vent elements we can see here because otherwise you would need to add those manually in edit mode which would cost you a lot of time and trouble, especially when you would need to, let's say, remove them or move them around um, the object. With a Boolean modifier, it's all much easier and yeah, way less troublesome. So let's see right now how we can do this. I will start off by switching to my secondary camera and by hiding everything except of the ceiling element I have in my scene. I will now focus a 3D cursor somewhere around one of the openings. So let's say here, I'm doing it in solid view and I will add a cylinder object somewhere around this area. Now I'm scaling it down so it matches uh, the size of the spot lamp opening we need to create. Let's say it's gonna be something like this. And now in the edit mode, I will also duplicate this cylinder and move those duplicates to the locations of the other openings. So one here, one here, and I'm going to press Shift R to repeat the last step. This newly added object will be our Boolean operator. So this object will cut the holes in the ceiling. I will move it to the helpers uh, category here, but let's create a new subcategory like uh, Boolean modifiers. So I will now create an extra helper subcategory and call it Boolean. And I'm gonna move my object there. And also hide this category to the viewport so or maybe let's also rename the object first so it's boolean 01 and now we can hide it let's select the ceiling right now and add a boolean modifier so we go to the modifier section and select one from here now we need to select the boolean object so if we name it correctly it's way easier and faster and by default you can already see we have the holes cut into our object so that was pretty quick and as i mentioned anytime we need to modify it we can just enter the edit mode of the object move it around and the cut will still be applied to the ceiling pretty useful and very quick to edit in case uh, you need to change anything around the project. That's why I really recommend Boolean modifier for this kind of operations. Let's now cut out the openings in the wooden element of the ceiling. So again, I'm gonna hide everything except of the objects I really need to be visible. And not even using a reference, I would say let's cut those openings here in the middle of the panels. So I'm gonna copy already existing Boolean object and move it somewhere here, rotate it, place it 
just like that. Delete these two and simply align the remaining ones so they are placed more or less in the center. And again, the step is pretty much the same. So I apply a Boolean modifier to this object and select the second Boolean operator. So with my Boolean helpers disabled from view, you can see we have the openings added to the object. What I would need to create at the moment would be just the final detail of the vent openings here. But since you already know how to do that, I will just skip that to save your time. And yeah, I will still need to place my missing objects around. So very quickly by placing 3D cursor here, selecting the assets category here, I can add some spot lamps very quickly. Yeah, they are visible just, just right here. Let's enable gizmo, move them down, center our view on them. And yeah, let's select, well, let's say the last object. Move it around, scale up. And yeah, thanks to the Boolean modifier, we are ready to go. Let's maybe in increase the size in this axis just a little, little bit. And that's it. Yeah, we can now simply using Alt D shortcut, move the object around. And the final details of the scene are created exactly this way. So I really hope because this is the last modeling video for this course. I'm, I'm talking about this scene, of course, because we will still going to cover the asset modeling aspect, the opening scene for the trailer, uh, modeling time lapse. But as for this scene, except of those few details and cutting out the hole here, this is basically everything. We will now move to talking a little bit more about the environment which will be visible behind the window but that's a story for another video so thanks for watching again and see you see you see you very soon thank you guys for watching this video is part of my interior visualization course in blender which you can watch for free on youtube all the necessary details and link to the full playlist can be found in the video description if you want to support what I do and access all of the 3D files used in this course, plus Blender ready interior setups and over 2000 Blender exclusive 3D models, just visit the Chocofur store and learn more about our subscription plans. Again, thanks for watching and I see you soon.